Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more EU4 as the Pawnee. We're in first place, got 15,000 score. Um, I wonder what the actual maximum score would be if you got first place the entire Titan, like the entire game. Russia has passed us up in score, probably because we lost a few soldiers here and there. We've lost our CB. Uh, we have a new commander, new leader. We have no points to boost up stability, so we're going to be losing legitimacy potentially. Actually, we're still still gaining, so that's good. Um, our two five four. Oh God, you bastards! Get a couple of those guys going. Portuguese patriots have risen up. <laughs> Good luck. One, two, three. So I think we can get one more. In that zone. And yeah, we've only got two here. My objective is to stockpile money, and I keep spending my money. Oh my god. High taxes, cultural and religious differences have caused unhappiness among our citizens. <laughs> Jeez, you're kidding me, right? That, how many is that? That's 25, 30, 34, 46 regiments. I guess we're going to lower taxes. God. How, this is just so, it's so dumb. Yeah, it's my land. Yeah, Portuguese. Sure, 523 sounds good. Pawnee revolutionaries have risen up. Shocking. <clears throat> I really don't think they matter. Where are you going? Why are you going all the way down there? And by the time you siege this one, he'll siege the next one. And then you're going to move over here and you're going to siege the one he sieged. And then he's going to siege another one. Then you're going to move the one. Yeah. Ad infinitum. I should just be happy that it's not happening on islands. Alright, so we're going to grab our fleet. We're going to put it here. Gain a colonialism CB versus Scotland. You know, we could go blow up Scotland's fleet for just for fun. Haven't done that in a while. They're allied with Sweden and Spain. We have a CB against Spain. We haven't been at war with Spain for a while. No, it's, let's just power through it. I could turn this the last three years of the game into like five videos if I really wanted to, but I don't want to, so. What I really want to do is end the game so that we can read the cool thing at the end. Land attrition down, attrition for enemies up. Sounds sweet. Damn, I was just saying I'm really glad that it's not on an island, and then it's on a damn island. Pawnee revolutionaries. What are you revolt? Like, what is the revolution? I don't explain it to me. Gold standard. Yeah, buddy. 
Probably have ahead of time penalties on that. You have researched all technologies in this group. Oh. Well, that's nice. This one doesn't go any higher either, does it? Probably not. So no more Diplotech. Kind of makes sense. We're almost at the end of the game. All right, so we've got a core. Monthly progress will be nothing. Because we are not so good at converting people. Never have had to. It doesn't appear that we have a guy that will improve our abilities to convert either. So we're just kind of stuck. 98% religious unity. Naples just broke their alliance. Sad times. They don't want to end the game with us being friends. Provence has just broke their alliance with us. And Spain has declared war on me. Well, I was just itching for an excuse to blow up your fleet. Thank you. You're going to arrive there on the 24th. We will arrive there on the 1st. Fine, we can go to the coast. Oh, you're going to the Gulf of Malmeria. You're going that way. Okay. Twelfth, sixteenth. Mostly light ships. I mean, we need to hang out around here because we know that they're going to try to pick up their troops. Who do we end up at war with, really? Just Spain. Stop running away from me. Twenty army tradition. Wow. Get them. Hey, Spain. There's your heavies. This is what we want. Let's slow the game down so don't lose sight of them again. And with our guys four maneuver, I think we'll be able to catch them. No matter how fast they are. They certainly are quick, though. Just don't dock. Thank you. Thank you, Spain. You're so generous. There goes 27 heavy ships. Gained four war score. Um, and we've only got, like, a year left in the game. Um, Spain still has 37 heavies out there. We got one, two... Well, he's, he's all over the place, isn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just do eight. I guess we just blockade. We've got 80, 80 troops there. Maybe um, 80 regiments. Maybe we have enough. Maybe my 80 is enough. Let's actually do that. That'll be more interesting. I, I constantly do that. I spend all this time like trying to establish this beautiful blockade and then I get distracted and I stop doing it. As long as we have our commander, good. Alright, Spain. My 80 with a negative 2 penalty. Versus your no leader. Yeah. Oh, hey! More ships. Cool. We'll gladly blow up your ships. And we're here! Oh, you want to come fight me in the mountains? Brilliant. Split, split, split. This, this will be great. 
Terrain penalty minus two. Yes. Attack me into the mountains when I have... Like, you, you do actually have a discipline advantage, but I've got artillery in the entire back row, and you don't. Of course, your commander is a 3-4, ours is a 4-4. Four, four. We're going to win, but it's not nearly as, as uh, big of a stomp as I would have liked. Still, um, we killed a lot of men. And now we have forced march, so we'll chase you down. Oh, they have forced march as well. They don't seem to want to attack my army, though, which is hilarious. Oh, we didn't quite get there before them, so they still got the defensive bonus. But bam! 12 war score. Awesome. So Spain, how's this war working out for you with your negative 46% war score? That's fun. Give me money. No, you know what? I think the most... The most fitting <clears throat> victory is just just concede defeat. Concede defeat to the Pawnee people. We're amazing. And then other than that, um, you know, Spain, the colonizer, conceded defeat to the natives. It's, it's like, um, what's the word for it? Symbolic. And I'm pretty sure... I'm not mistaken that the game ends in two months. I've never gotten this far in the game, so I don't really know. Let's see what happens. One month to go. Should we spend time looking at um, looking at the ledger and stuff before that date hits? Oh, oh, one more day, and the game just ends. No, no pre-warning or anything. It just says, "Oh, by the way, you lose," or not, not you lose. The game's over. Historical scores, apparently, is France is at 6,700. So historically, Spain is supposed to be better than France, but they did not. We're the second largest army, the largest navy, most provinces, highest province value, highest income, third highest trade income. Um, apparently, that's where we ended up. Um, we we're still 8% overextended. And that's, that's just kind of it. Western totemism. Now, this little history thing is, is really fun to read. I'm not going to read the whole thing because it's just too much. But the way that they generate these history battle report things is pretty cool. So let's like read for this one example. Um, 11 November 1444. Remember all the way back in the beginning of the game. Chief somebody or another battled in the epic humiliation of the Sioux and our armies were competent. The war was practically decided when some guy fought some guy in the battle of Atakaki. At Atakaki. 8,000 soldiers suffered some losses while fighting the 7820 Sioux soldiers. The epic Assiniboine humiliation of Pawnee ended after one year, resulting in status quo. An event, an important event of the war was the Battle of blah blah blah. And just keep, continues to summarize battles. There's a lot of battles in that war, apparently. Oh my god, it's like a blob. Let's go towards like the end, where we can see some of the French wars. The short second English conquest of Pawnee ended after three years, resulting in status quo. Historians talk about how the English fought Pawnee in the Battle of Manitoba, led by English Nehemiah Marlborough, suffered some losses fighting 87,000 men strong Pawnee army, led by uh, that dude who suffered some losses. The unsuccessful Sixth Pawnee French Colonial War lasted two years. Really? I don't think it was unsuccessful. Let's see, it's 1800. I want to see French battles, French wars. The minor second English reconquest of Lothian was shockingly assailed in the Pawnee-French colonial war. Historians talk about how the Pawnee fought Hungarian in the Battle of Tarnova. Yeah. The unsuccessful French colonial war lasted for six... It's saying it's unsuccessful because I didn't actually take the colony. Except I made France, like, give up all of their stuff. So that's it, though. The game just ends. There's nothing else. So, all that work. <laughs> it's just... Out of the blue, it's 821. Game over. So anyway, um... It was interesting. I had, I had fun. At Sometimes I had more fun than others. But, um, I think in the future we will probably not be playing as a native. Um... I want to experience colonial mechanics from the colonizer side instead of from the native side. 
And um, it, it really slows the game down to have to westernize. Still, despite the fact that we had to westernize, we were able to get to almost capped out tech. I mean, we capped out Diplotech. We were only one tech point away from capping out um, military tech and like two points from capping out admin tech. So even having to westernize. I think a big part of it is that the, the natives get to just jump up in tech levels, which I feel like it's kind of a broken mechanic. I think that when they reform their government, they should um, just get a reduction in cost, perhaps, but not actually jump up to two points behind them. I don't know. Well, anyway, let me know what your thoughts are. I'm looking forward to starting a new series soon, and uh, I am glad that this one's over. It did take a long time, like 70-some videos, so thank you if you have made it all the way to the end, and I definitely look forward to seeing you in the next series. Thanks for watching. See you soon.